Hello, everybody. Hello. We're here. We moved our spot, our positions again this time, so we can yeah. we could see each other without having to look behind each other. But so, how's everybody today? This is, of course, Kincaid Special Creations Facebook Day. Right, and we are talking about fishing. Yes. It's getting springtime. It's getting nice. I see people down here at the bridge um, going. They must be stocking because they're going fishing. Got a nice little area down here to go fishing now on that side of the creek bank. That's like when I was a kid. They had really good um, fishing areas on both sides of the creek. You could walk down either side and go fishing any time yeah. that you wanted to go fishing. I watched the them stalk the creek one day. They were up on the bridge, kind of had like their back hatch open, and fish was just shooting out. Yeah, I'm like, wow. I don't think that would hurt the fish, but I don't guess it hurt them any. Well, I mean, they just dump it off that bridge right into the water, and I was I, I told Timmy one time I, that because it's like lined up on the other side of the bridge to go fishing. I said, man, they should just put them. A, Fishing that out from underneath <laughs> it and catch it at least would be less stress on the fish. Right. Well, right. if anybody's made it into us, please let us know well, you're here. Aunt Julie, she said hello. Hey, Joel. How are you? <laughs> yeah, we're talking fishing today. So. Yep, yep. We got a lot. In, of in, in honor of Stephen, get his fishing boat. Actually, not. Hannah pulled this out of a uh, out of the bowl, and since we it just tied in with Stephen's fishing boat, we thought we'd just honor the fish and uh, um, tell you about different types of reels, different types of rods, different ways you can use fish. Some people like fish. They have goldfish. They have you know they'll have the. I'm a beta fish. Oh, yeah, Hanny has a beta fish that she's had for quite a while now. Yeah. yeah Dad's here. Him. He says, hey, guys. Hey, Tim. He said, I finally found you. <laughs> Was I lost? <laughs> Janet Kay said, hi, guys. Hi, Janet. <clears throat> but, yes, if y'all missed it, we're talking about fishing. So, um, Mom's got a lot of good information, some hacks, right? Yeah, so I informational found some... information and then some hacks. And then we got a couple little things that we did together. Mandy made a nice little sign. I made one. Ha ha. <laughs> it didn't do what I wanted to do. I didn't use the vinyl like I was supposed to, but I run late on time as usual. So we're just going to hang around and so see if a few more people come in. Then we'll get started. How was your all's day today? I'm Julie, if you get a chance, you can send Stephen a text. I think I forgot to do that today. Or Tammy, if you want to send one. Because he's yeah. almost always here and I forgot to tell him. So he got a boat? He did get a boat. Nice, nice boat. Well. So he's, I mean, he's been out there fishing ever since he retired. So. He just, I guess he decided he was going to get him a boat to go out in the water. Now, if he ever gets on here, I want to ask him if he's ever run a boat before. Like, I'm one? sure, yeah, I'm sure he has. Well, I think they had a boat at the beach one year. I thought Brad right? brought a boat or something. Uh, oh, yeah, they got a, just a small boat. What, did he get a big boat? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. When he get off, I'll show it to you. Okay. I, I think... Dad said he's been busy there. Oh, have you? Been a busy day today? Did you get your brakes fixed? Hope, hope, hope. On his big truck? Yeah. <laughs> he he had uh, brake issues with it, so. Well. Hmm. So. So, all right. Well, we're going to get started. We're going to start with. Angel Lee letting him know, so. Okay. He'll probably be here shortly. Okay. This is my little picture I printed out. I have no idea what the name of those particular reels are. I do know that they're reels. So if anybody knows, I put numbers attached to them. So if you can put it in the comment section what they are, I'm sure Stevie would know. I mean, uh, Dad would know. Yeah. 
Um, Dad said he sure did get his brakes fixed. All right, that's wonderful news. Wonderful, wonderful, and wonderful news. On a side note that has absolutely nothing to do with fishing, people, I have what is called a Sharpie 3 gel pen that I got at the flea market down in Tennessee. It's actually Sharpie S gel. S gel, sorry. I can't read. Uh, that out writes absolutely wonderful. It won't oh, go Uncle guess. Ron's here. He hey, Brian. It. How are you? We're going to talk a little bit about fishing, just in case you didn't see the the sheet. These are all the reels that we Show come up with, but I don't know what kind they are, so I wanted to be able to write down what particular type one they was. So if anybody knows, just put the number in front of so I can write it down on that sheet of paper so that I know exactly what it is. I only thought there was two kinds. I always thought there was just open face. And a spin reel, which I think is num my guess would be number one. Uh, the open face, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> number two, maybe. I don't know. That would be my guess. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> number one is the kite that I always fished with when I was would have a fishing uh, pole back when I was little after I got older. I use daddy's, but that's the kind that they had back in the day. Now, your dad has some of these, like, kind of like this one. Yeah. But I don't know what number three is. I have no idea. But I thought maybe somebody along the line might tell me what not, what they are. Just look at the maybe numbers. Maybe that's and, those big ones they got on the boat. Oh, could be. That they, that for ocean fishing? Yeah. That they catch the big sharks and stuff with? Yeah, maybe. That That's entirely possible. It just come up with this picture, so I don't know exactly what they are. Winnie's here. Hey, Winnie. Hey, how Glad are you today? We're barely getting started here. It's about fishing today. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit about this, that, and the other. We had a whole uh, thing on fishing for the... Um, they, or for the West Virginia Wednesday, so this is going to correlate with it. I'm hoping to be able to link that Facebook YouTube that I switched over to YouTube and this one when I switch it to YouTube, so you can watch them back to back if you want to. The next thing is reels. And this, these people were smart. They helped me out a lot. They give me the names of the reels. These are rods. Huh? Rods. Sorry, the rods. And uh, Christy says she's having trouble finding us, too. Dad, how did you end up finding us? I mean, it looks from our end that we're on the where we always are. Mm -hmm. I will tell you guys, my internet has been acting screwy. And this stuff is just out of its world. I don't know. Ever since that solar flare hit everywhere... Seems like the internet system has just absolutely gone nuts. So, I hope everybody finds us. Winnie said, um, uh, she's ready to go fishing and stay all summer. Oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I'd like to go fishing, I think. <laughs> I, ha I have very zero patience to set very long but with you, when you got your phone, you can just sit there and let the fishing thing do it. I have to switch, fish with one of the bobbers on the, the end of the pole. I'll sit there and stare at that thing for hours on end. No, but well, there ain't no fish on the end of it, but just in case. Huh? It might happen. And it might happen if I turn my back. So, right. that's the way it goes. That's over on the KSK site. So. And I see us here, so I don't know what... Well, she'll find us. She'll find us in there. Um, Can you send her a link? Uh, maybe. I don't know how to do that, guys. I'm getting better. The next thing we got in line is different types of fish. There's only one, well, maybe two, catfish, and then there's one other one on there that I know anything about. Because that's what they used to put in, and something called Golden's. They used to put rainbow trout and golden trout in the creek down here when they'd stock. And you could see them. Nobody, 
They like the rainbow trout, but when you seen them little goldens swimming around, that is what everybody wanted to catch on the end of their pole. Winnie says she has to have a bobber too. <laughs> That's what I like to fish with. Now, if I'm going to go and I'm going to set for hours on end, I want something to occupy my mind. And that bobber just sitting there. And you know that water is going to moose that bobber up and down. But just the thought that there might be a fish on the end of that just tickles me to no end. I think I like it. Um, you know, if it's the type of fishing, which I don't know one from the other really. Like what type of fish... But I know at the beach when we're fishing, and we usually catch drum, I like to feel the line to see if it's something's tugging on it. If there's a bobber on it, I have trouble feeling that same. That's what your dad says, too. He he doesn't like to have the, the... But I don't know. For me, if I just was holding on to that line, that waves going up and down would make that stuff move and I'd be yanking that sucker in every five <laughs> seconds like uh oh crap um, throwing it back out I can't cast either so you know that means that Timmy has to be close by to cast my thing back out in the water so that's right. the reason that I just go and watch these kids when we go to the beach watch them fish and I love to watch them fish especially when they get something and they're bringing it in I get as excited as they do <laughs> but for me to sit there and try to well, I guess I could learn. I learned YouTube, so I guess I could learn to fish. Right, right. So, I'm ho I'm hoping so. Uh, Banks made it. She said, I'm here. It Yay. took a while to pop up, even though I refreshed a few times. I'm not sure if other people had that trouble, too, or not. Dad had, a tr had trouble finding us, too, so that might be the thing. The Internet's been running slow and stuff, so. Yes, just... we've been trying to do this, that, and the other since Mandy got here, and the Internet just... So slow. One of the right. things that we did was Mandy designed me a challenge sheet and she turned it into stickers. So we now have a whole bunch of fish that we can use as stickers on our... Where's the... And they are uh, collar your own stickers. So <laughs> Hanny went through and collared some of them and um, just to show you, you know, you can collar your own and then you can take them off and you don't have to you, you you can use them on challenge or you can use stickers for your planner or in your bible you know there's a lot of references to fish in the bible so i may you know make me some at home and put them in my bible just different oh, yeah, stuff like that yeah that would be cool that would be a good idea i never did understand the uh, the fish reference in the Bible, I see that a lot. If anybody knows that particular answer, that would be cool for me to... I mean, I understand that he fed everybody with, you know, with, fish. with fish and stuff, but the he's symbol a, he's, of... He's a fisherman, fisher of men, kind of, you know. I think there's a lot more references. I think I haven't I, thought all the way through the Bible yet, so I'm still working on it. And to go with the, the uh, stickers, Mandy made me two new. If anybody's been watching my challenges, you'll see that Mandy has already given me. I'll tell y'all because, you know, y'all know her. She she is my uh, uh, subscriber that has been give, keeping me in some good, nice challenges. So this one says gone fishing. And... Yep. Each time you fish, you can collar a fish or put a sticker on the fish or whatever. Each time, it's it's going to cost you either a quarter or 50 cents. Yeah. And once you get the challenge done, you'll have accumulated, um, what, $5 or $10. So. And I like the fact that she put the totals that's down there. Um, some people take them. I don't want to put this into a challenge thing. But they would take and do the 25 cent one, and then the money from that they would turn over and put into the 50 cent one and then finish it out. Uh, Banks said that uh, Jesus is a fisherman. He fed people with the fish. Jonas was swallowed by a whale. That's about all she knows. Well, the Jonah being swallowed by a whale story was one that, that I never quite understood as I was growing up. But as I've been reading it as I get older, it's because he did not want to do what God asked him to do. 
And he was going to a different place other than the place that God was sending him to go to do his prophesying to. So a big storm come up. He got thrown over and the whale ate him and took him to the very place he was supposed to be in the first place. <laughs> so listen, if God pats you on the shoulder, please, please give it all effort you can to do as he wants. Uh, she's Christy says she'd be rich if she collared a fish every time TJ went fishing. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. Or, hey, I can tell you what, I can collar fish every time Stevie puts one on TV. Or on uh, messages. Yeah. Yeah, because I, I could get rich. I could get rich just off the fish that he's caught since he retired. Yeah. And beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. That would be a total randomizer right there. Yeah. Is like... Your your money saving that challenge is dependent on someone else sending you a picture of a fish. Yeah, yeah. If you all have a picture of a fish, just put it on my Facebook page, and for every one of them that's on there, I will save money on my challenge. She'll call her in a fish, save her a quarter every time. So, and take what twenty fish? And, yeah. So yeah. all you all fishing this summer, help me save money. <laughs> I know that saving money is not a one that everybody and his brother likes, but for whatever reason, that has struck my fancy. Now, this book I got from the library, it's about the New River Gorge. It, too, is a coloring page. But look, in a random order, for no reason at all, this guy is fishing. I just happened to pick that up last night when I was at the library, and I thought, well, that's a perfect little page to have for, for our fishing for our fishing thing. Yeah. Now, and you'll be coloring that next. Wait for Stevie to come in. Okay, now next thing we're going to discuss is some hacks. Okay. These come off of something called BuzzFeed. The first one is if you're a person of fishes with minnows or catches minnows to fish with, put you some hydrogen peroxide in the water that you've got them in and that causes them to be able to live longer. Okay. That extends their life. So you know, did it say, did you say how much? No, just, you know, just a little oh, bit. Yeah, in, yeah, just a little bit. Probably about a quarter of a cup and a gallon of water would be plenty. You don't want to okay. give them too much peroxide, but enough. Um, the other thing was, if you're fishing, just take two different, this is just masking tape, but you could use plastic tape if you wanted to. Just take different colors of tape and put them on your fishing pole so that if you say, hey, Johnny, whoever, go to the shed and get my whatever fishing pole, you can tell them, say, hey, it's got orange masking tape on it. That way... You don't have to worry about whether or not somebody is uh, helping you out getting the wrong fishing pole. Or if you're out there and you're fishing with one and somebody else is fishing along the thing, you can have yours marked so that nobody can come and take your fishing pole. You know that it's yours. Mm -hmm. Or you don't by accident pick up somebody else's fishing pole. Right. So cause we don't want that to be. Next thing, I made me a cute little tackle box. Now this goes down inside Tim's big tackle box, but this is this is just mine because I put little different things, little hacks that it showed me on the uh, on Buzzfeed. Okay, the first one handy is to get. Do you know what a swivel is? Mm, no, but I okay. think, let me show you. It says to take a large safety pin and with that large safety pin you can do your swivels that keeps them all from getting all jumbled up and, and tangled up in your uh, tackle box or your fishing hooks <laughs> and that way they just roll across the top and you don't have to worry about them getting all jumbled up and I went ahead and put some little that you put them, you can put them on your pole just so you can see it better out in the water. Okay, that's cool. That's a neat idea. 
and safety fans. These have your sinkers on them. Okay. So y'all know what the words are. That's about the size of what I know. <laughs> now, if you think about that, it looks kind of funny hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> and I also made one that has my floaters on it. This is this is my favorite thing to fish with. Yeah, gotta have those bobbers. And in speaking of a floater, I made one. Okay, with a cork. Just took a cork, stuck a piece of, of wood down, or a wire down in the top of it, put me on a bead with a crimp the top of it to make it a little hook that you can put your put on your line. So, cool. I like that one. I thought that one was cute. Yeah. And then next thing. Oh, this is going to come apart. Well, it already come apart on me. But you get the idea. Hold it together, Hannah. Thanks for laughing at us. And she said, those are pretty handy, though. <laughs> it ain't My fish are flying went everywhere, but <laughs> okay, you, get, nice. you get, get the concept. The concept <laughs> is to take a cork and put your fishing line around it. And put your fishing hooks in the top of it and secure it down with tape, which my tape didn't hold, so you'll have to use <laughs> stricter tape, maybe duct tape or, or uh, masking tape. And when you're going <laughs> camping, put that in your camping uh, backpack, and therefore you won't get stuck with the fish hooks, and you'll have the fishing line. So all you have to do is find you a long, uh, semi-straight stick, Tie the fishing line on it and put the hook on it and you'll never be hungry. You can just go fishing in whatever creek you can find right. and you'll already have it with you. You won't have to worry about it. You, know, you might get lost in the woods. You might, heaven knows, when you go on camping or you're going trail walking or whatever, which way you're going to get turned around before you get back out of there. So it yeah. just a, was a good little thing to put in to uh, have as a backup system when you go camping. Yeah. Dad said you could also add uh, fluorescent paint to the homemade floaty. That oh, would be you really could. Good. Yeah. You could. I didn't think about that, but that would work. Um, they said I did not make one of these, but on this hack it said to take the lids from beer bottles or uh, pop bottles, metal lids, and a board, all about six inches, maybe seven inches long. And take the first little bit of it and, and screw those lids down in it where you got a hand hold on the bottom. And it said, they said it's a very good fish scaler. You, okay. can, you can just use it to scale the fish when you're getting ready to do whatever you're going to do with them. I didn't have any metal lids. And I didn't think the plastic ones would work very well, so I didn't try to make one of those. So you screw them to the board, like here's the board, and you screw them with their teeth out. Yeah, with the like, te with the teeth out to the outside, outside. Mm -hmm. okay. and then you can you can use it to uh, scale the fish. Okay, you know, just run it down your fish, scale it. That would have been nice when I was five or six years old. Granddaddy made my scale make me scale my own fish. That would have been that would have been it. I'll bet there'd been a lot of beer lids around then. Granddaddy didn't know that. Yeah, Dad said if you run out of hooks, you could always use the safety pins. Yes, it did. Another maybe thing, bend it up or something. The another thing they said about those safety pins, which is a good thing to have them in your tackle box, if the eye of your fishing rod gets broke off for whatever reason, you can take and bend that that uh, safety pin down and tie it on with some wire, and it becomes the new hook for your fishing pole. Okay. I said, that, I thought that was a pretty good idea. Another reason to have your, your uh, safety pin in there. Yeah, we can have TV off. I don't know if they can hear that or not. Sorry, guys. We just realized our TV was on here. So. An another thing that is a, a hack, they said you can take a basket okay, and to cut you a pool in. noodle down. And cut, open it up with a knife. Just cut it down through there. And then put that back on your basket. And I would suggest, so that it didn't come off, if your fish got too heavy, taking you some 
um, zip ties and tying it on so it won't fall off. And then it floats in your water. Make sure you got one deeper than this. This is not quite deep enough. But if you, you can put your fish, instead of having to have them on a stringer, you can put your fish in there and it'll float along the side and they're still in the same water that they always was till you get ready to take them home and you just pull it out and go home with it. Make sure you tie it off to your boat or your on the shore or something so it don't float on down the river <laughs> and you lose all your fish. But I'm just saying, that's a pretty nifty idea. Yeah. So. That would be pretty cool. And Bing said, um, I just figured out that there is a missing emoji in all this list. I was going to say, I love how Hanny is like, insert emoji that shows me rolling my hands like in a crazy ball. <laughs> She couldn't uh, find the emoji for that. <laughs> <laughs> there are some emojis I've looked for that they're just not there. I'm like, other people got to be feeling the same thing. Uh, oh, I know. That's what I, I, I don't, I have a hard time finding emojis in the first place. Much less put, unless it pops up and says suggested use, I usually don't do any of them. Right. The last thing that was a hack that they they said, this came from uh, the Game and Fish magazine. It come through the hack session when you hit the little blue arrow. It took you to the Game and Fish magazine, and it is a catfish bait recipe. It says you take hot dogs and cut them into little three quarter inch pieces. Uh, round pieces, and you take uh, up to a quarter of a cup of gar minced garlic. It has to be minced because it needs to be little. Minced garlic. And you put that in a bowl. And you pour on top of it. This is the funny part. You pour on top of it strawberry Kool-Aid package. Okay. Just pour it on top of it. Then you add a little bit of water into it and make sure it's all stirred up. And then the Fish love the garlic infused hot dogs because they love, catfish love garlic, which is why they probably stink. But anyway, <laughs> that, that's neither here nor there. Uh, but the blood, although the strawberry flavor doesn't do any good for the catfish, the color makes it color of blood. So therefore, they are really attracted to this. So I would like for all the fisher people out there, whoever you are, Give it a try and let me know. Send me okay, a little box so if that works. You can take one of those little, because gar minced garlic comes in those little mm -hmm. jars. Mm -hmm. So leave a little bit in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Cut you up a couple hot dogs, put in there. Yep. Kool-Aid. Yep. Fill it up with water enough to shake it all yep. around and let it set. I guess in your cooler. Yeah. Because you'd want it to be cold. I mean, for your hot dogs not to go rancid or yeah. something. Yeah. So, and then... Okay, maybe the night up. before you go fishing, I wonder how long it has to marinate. Well, I don't think maybe it takes very long for okay. it to marinate. Just, you know, because the not only will the, um, the but the garlic flavor will get into the hot dog. So the garlic smell will attract the um, catfish, I'm assuming, never fished with it. I'm not a big fisher person, but I would assume that the garlic smell will get into the hot dogs. And then the hot, the hot dogs will cause the fish to come. Mm, okay. It sounds like it will work good. Yeah, yeah. So, that's all the hacks I have. Okay. Got a few more. I have projects. a... I have a small little plaque <laughs> that says, This is the life. Retiring, retirement and fishing. Oh my God, that's cool. Bink said, um, do fish care if they eat rancid food? I, I don't guess. think they really care because especially catfish eat anything off the bottom that comes yeah. comes at them. So oh, no. it, it really doesn't matter. She as said, far I guess you wouldn't want to eat fish that ate rancid hot dogs either, though. So I don't know. I think after it goes through their digestion. I don't think catfish, you really, if you want to eat cash, catfish, it's hard to tell what that catfish ate. Yeah. Because they're like the... the they're bottom feeders. Yeah, they're, they're like the things that clean out... Um, fish tanks. They're like, they eat everything that's imaginable. Yeah. And Hanny brought us over a little fishing 
gang. Yeah, found that at Dollar General. We thought it met our um, theme tonight. Just a fishing game we can put in our pool. So you throw those little fish in, and then you go in with your fishing net. So and try to catch them as fast as you yeah. can. Yeah, that'd catch be pretty before cool. Before they go to the bottom. And then Mandy has one that she made. Yeah, I'll put that together today. It says, I called in to work because my arm is in a cast. And it's got a guy casting a pole. <laughs> that's, a, that's a cute idea, though. It's kind of hard to read backwards, but that is what it... Oh, it's yeah. got two little fish hooks at the bottom of it. Yeah. And yeah. I just did that by cutting that out on the Cricut out of cardstock. Mm-hmm. And then I put a piece of black paper behind it. Well, now that's so a neat idea. I, yeah. It was a lot easier just to. Um, I never yeah. thought about that, but that would work out really yeah. good. But instead of making it a stencil, just make it. Right. Because I didn't, it up with a I didn't have color. enough time to do like a stencil and paint and all that. But so. you know, that, that's just neat. That's, that, that's another hack you can use. Yeah. When you're in a hurry for a picture, just. Take a stencil and put a background behind it. Yeah, because this is actually a picture off my wall. Hunter's basketball team is under there. So I have to have that frame and that picture back. <laughs> and um, last but not least, we got food. Love. Yeah, some Swedish fish. Who all likes Swedish fish? I don't really care for it. I never have, but they're okay. He says they're okay. You like them? I think I do. I think do I they do. say Swedish on them? Um, like the picture? They used to. Yes, they do. All of them do? Mm hmm That's pretty cool. You can kind of make like, um, I've seen people make blue jello. Baby yacht. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that thought. Maybe grandma don't like them. Yeah, good. Um, get you some blue jello, and as it's kind of setting up, you kind of put the fish in, and it looks like a fish. Oh, that'd water. be cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry, said, guys. I am not a fan of Swedish fish. But Winnie said, yum. So, some people like them, some people some don't. Some people like stuff that other people don't. My husband, Tim, loves licorice. Oh, no. Not eating it. We always gave him our black licorice, like the jelly beans. We come here's a black one, Dad. You want it? You know he always wants that black licorice. He loves licorice, but mm -hmm. now that's not something I'm. I can eat it. I don't like it. Yeah, Bing said you should have got the uh, shark gummies. They taste better. No. And Dad asked, "What? What are they like? A gummy? Yeah, they're like a gummy, right? I haven't had one for a while. I just didn't think they taste very good." They all right. They just got a little bite to them. Every you, the flavor keeps biting at you. And they're like kind of stretchy. So yeah, they're kind of gummy. Oh, they are gummies. Yeah. But they just kind of. They work. remind me of an old jelly bean. You know, one of those that you get that you have to chew and chew, and chew. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Only it's soft. The big said, "I still give Dad my licorice jelly beans." I do, too. <laughs> when Sam don't steal them. Sam loves licorice, too. Hello, Patricia. Oh, How are you? Hello. All right. We've been here 33 minutes. So, we better go and let y'all get on with your you night. want Annie to pull one before we leave? Okay, yeah. We'll pull. We don't have any holidays coming up, I don't guess. Mother's Day. but Mother's Day, but. Oh, it'll be hard to do. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we, um. Hey guys, we are really close to um, a goal of ours on YouTube, so if you haven't watched, if there's any YouTube videos you haven't watched, please go check those out. Uh, we got till the end of April to try to get about 100 more views, so if there's, you know, any videos that you haven't watched, but, yeah. um, please watch those. And we got us. some good ideas coming too, guys. So. Mom's got a lot of savings challenges. The videos yep. aren't that long, maybe 20 minutes. Some of them are like 12, 13 yep. minutes, so... Uh, it won't take too long if you just want to put on a playlist and let it play while you're not even not at home. That's some people don't like to leave their TVs on. I always leave my TVs on. I do too. But I turn me on 
So Sammy has me to listen to. Uh, Ready, guys? I got one. Hold on. Winnie said, my mom always picked out the black jelly beans. Oh. Then, I, then I found bags that had all black. I love them now. Oh, oh. really? Yeah. Nope, not me. I can't do that. Banks um, suggested Memorial Day is coming up. And that is kind of a red, white, and blue kind yeah. of holiday. Um, and Patricia said, I'm fine. And Dad said, happy birthday, Patricia. So happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, and happy, when my brother gets here, happy late birthday, Stevie. Yeah, okay, awesome. His birthday was Monday. Okay. And Paul's. Paul, if you're watching, happy birthday yes, to you too, happy buddy. happy late birthday. Love you guys. All right, let's pick, see what we got. Yeah, we're going to pick to see what we come up with next Facebook Live. Owls. Owls. Oh, that's okay. my favorite. We, have we haven't owls. done no owls. No. Yay, a new one. Oh. <laughs> okay, owls. And, and a last minute update. I We just took the last face. No, last West Virginia Wednesday, we just put it up on YouTube. Yeah. Anybody that's going to be voting in May in Fayette County or the state of West Virginia, Please watch it so that you'll be informed of the uh, most of the candidates that are running. So you'll yeah. at least have a name of somebody that you're going into the... And everybody might know everything more than I do. I mm -hmm. always walked in and did not know but the top runners of things. So yeah. I just wanted to put that video out. So I've now uploaded it into YouTube. If you haven't seen it, please be for, sure to check it out. Winnie says she's trying to catch up on all the videos. We really appreciate we that. We really, really, really appreciate anybody yeah. that watches it. And if you haven't subscribed, or if you have subscribed in the past, be sure to check to see. We bounce back from 544 to 547. Back and forth, back and forth. So somebody is either getting kicked off and coming back on. They notice that their, their subscription is out. I don't know what YouTube's up to. It's not just us. So, you know, don't think it's just, it's anybody that you're watching. Mm -hmm. Just check them out to make sure you're still subscribed. Right. All right. Because there's a lot of work goes into doing all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, there is. So, it, it's a free subscription. Yeah. So, you're just helping us out. Yeah. Yeah, and every comment and watch and view and all that yeah. stuff. Everybody, you know, you guys know um, all the support that you can show in, in that way. And do. Helps us get helps us get benefits the channel to get benefits and yeah. stuff like that yeah. so i mean of course they want our numbers jacked way up in the thousands and thousands but I there's said, little, I, i'll settle for hundreds there's little milestones like we, <laughs> yeah. we personally like to reach so we'll start small so. all right guys we will see you next wednesday yeah, for West Virginia for Wednesday. West Virginia Wednesday, and I have no idea what I'm doing yet. Yeah. <laughs> and then in two weeks, we'll be back we'll with be back owls. With owls. A new one, a new one. Yeah. I'm so excited. Yeah, me too. All right. Bye, bye. guys.